The guys at Los Bomberos scored this sweet trailer from North Alabama. Hauled it down here and asked us if we could uh, flip it over into a usable coffee trailer cafe workspace. Mike immediately got to work, boarded up the back, cut two new service windows in, weather tight, put new walls and insulation in, and then we were able to start building the custom counter tops of cabinets that are going to go in here, fitting in our mini fridge and all the appliances that the guys requested for the workspace. Mini fridge far left. And then as we come up to the right, we have the hot water heater that's secured to the base of the trailer. It's gonna be going to two sinks located in the trailer. We have one full sink that's gonna be located in the center of the service area. To the right, there'll be a smaller dump sink, both up to the health standards of Jefferson County and the city of Birmingham. Holding tank for our water with an overflow that we built right here. As the water comes in, we needed a place for the air to escape, otherwise our tank expands. At this point, then the water will be able to flow out onto the ground after the air has escaped. And that's gonna stop any accidents from happening if the valve is left open and water is left flowing accidentally. Here we got the kegerator. It's gonna have taps installed right back here on the back just below the back window. This kegerator is going to be refrigerated, powered. Over here we have the nitro module that's going to be creating the nitrogen for the nitrogen infused coffee. A very specific request from the guys. Piped up under. Here we have the inverter. Our battery. So this thing can run off the generator or battery power. And we plumbed in the some new pipes into the back of the uh, kegerator. Old pipes need to be taken out, cleaned. That way we just know everything's sanitary and ready to go for these guys. Mike's already installed the new aluminum ceiling in three pieces that are riveted. Uh, we installed six recess lights that are gonna run off of uh, the DC battery. They're LED, so we're low power. So the guys can use the trailer at night. Let's get to what we're gonna do today. We're on around about day 17 on our uh, coffee trailer build out. So today we're going to be tiling our backsplash. Um, we're going to use a couple of different things for this because it's in the trailer and we want it to be flexible with a full uh, subway tile backsplash. We're going to use a uh, simple mat. It's going to allow us to put that up here instead of using the traditional thin set. Uh, it gives us some flexibility. It's easier to install the tile. Uh, and then we're going to use our regular poly blend plus grout. Same thing, a little bit of flexibility, non sanded. Um, that should give us more than enough sturdiness and it should hold up to anything that these guys can throw at it. So um, let's get started.
like the powder mix grout we bought and uh, bought the premix that we meant to buy the first time just because premix, right? Nobody wants to be messed with all that, especially for an area this small. So we've got the chocolate, I mean the uh, charcoal grout. That's where I broke the float earlier. We use the other side. the front line of our paper is square with the front line of our cabinets then we can use the paper as a template for our back line since it's not going to be square and we have those rounded edges those odd shapes over there so then we can use this to get us fairly close to the actual back line and then we can use our bondo or wood bondo to fill in from that and then cut a 22 inch Mm -hmm. piece to yeah. run the front 22 inch so then then our front can be whatever depth we want it to be as long, and then our back line will be correct as long as we have this template and that's just to deal with the odd edges that we have and a horse trailer So next week we'll cut the three quarter inch plywood, mount the pieces down, work out the angle down here that for the service window, and then we can paint and pour the epoxy.